right, what is up, everybody? It is the final night of 31 and 31. Oh, man, made it through this month. I think uh, better fair than other times. Uh, I remember during Kaiju Fest, I was getting all Kaiju'd out. And last year, it was a struggle towards the end just to get through them with everything else that was going on. But surprisingly, for Camp Cult, I feel pretty good. Got to see all the movies, had plenty of time, did all the recordings. And so, what is tonight's final feature? Well, the final feature of 31 and 31, if it has to do with cults, and it has to be Halloween, it's got to be Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Um, I know there are some people that I know that really like this movie. Um, I like it too, but it's not the best out of the Halloween movies. Um, I mean, of course, the first one is absolutely the best and it's the one that everybody should just be watching this halloween instead of this uh but i mean it's got some good kills in it it's got some stuff i know that there's two different cuts there's the producer cut or the extended cut or the unrated cut or what, whatever you want to call it a lot of people call it the producer cut where the ending is much different and i kind of wish I, I could see that but reading about the ending of that one i don't know if i would like it better uh I, I don't know. I think that there's a better outcome in in terms of, like, with the cult and everything like that. So, let's say you've never seen this movie before. And now, this might be one that you may never have, right? So, I'm not going to spoil it like I spoiled Rosemary's Baby and talked about scenes or anything like that. I'll try my hardest, at least. But, basically, this kind of gives you an idea of what goes on with Michael Myers. Why does he keep coming back? And it involves a cult. So... You know, you start the movie off with uh, a girl basically giving born to uh, giving born giving birth to a child <laughs> uh, that happens to be in the bloodline of Michael Myers, and so Michael he has to kill all of his family members before Halloween, and anybody related to him and the Strodes, uh, and it's all governed by a cult, and the cult needs to do it so that if he does it, he can pass on. I guess is cursed to somebody else, somebody new that will start killing all their family. And that's basically it. That's, that's your basic plot. Uh, you got Paul Rudd, um, which is absolutely crazy. Like how young he actually looks in this movie. I know people make jokes, say that he's never aged and probably never will. Uh, but God damn, does he look young? And he, it's not his first movie, but I think it's his first like kind of main like role. And even then, He's not the main, main character. Donald Pleasance is really considered to be the main character, at least when you look it up on IMDb and those places. Um, he does okay for what it is. I mean, it's your first film. It seems like a lot of people, their first films are horror films. It'd actually be kind of fun to see him do like a table read of his lines for this movie <laughs> because they would be terrible. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm going to name you Steven. Uh, but... <laughs> But it, you know, it would still be fun. Still be fun to see. I, I think it would be pretty entertaining to, to, you know, go back, hear what he has to say. So, uh, I mean, the kills, like I said, kills are good for this video, uh, for this movie. Uh, that's probably the highlight of everything. Because everything else is just kind of a... Some things are so bad, it's good. Uh, there's a scene where uh, our main heroine flies out a window that I could not stop laughing at uncontrollably just because of the way it's cut and it could be because it's cut differently in the way the theatrical cut is done from the uh you know the producer cut of the film i'm pretty sure that that's probably the way that it is and why it looks like it does so um it, it's been around you're probably gonna see today a bunch of like a halloween marathon because it's fucking halloween and we all know he's coming home tonight and uh we should watch some Michael Myers. So, um, you know, I've really enjoyed doing all these films, uh, watching them, doing a little mini reviews for everybody. Um, this one I'm going to give, I'm going to give it a solid three out of five, uh, exploding electric heads. Um, it, it's it, like I said, it has good kills. There's one little scene, uh, I, I recorded on my phone to send over to Phantom Dark Dave. I'm going to throw it up over there. Uh, just for a second, see, so you can get an idea of how the kills are, um, and, uh, it's just, 
it's just dumb fun. Like, that's the thing about it. I don't think that it's bad. I mean, it's kind of bad. Um, but I don't think that it's, like, the best horror movie in the world. But you know what? I get damn entertainment from it. And, uh, and honestly, this one could do without the cult. Remove the cult, and I think the film fares better. It'd be cooler just to see Michael Myers kind of go after people. And not really explain why he does what he does. You know, don't talk about what Thorn is, um, which is dumb. I, I think that's the, probably the dumbest part of the movie. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's a, I think, though, if you do find yourself watching it, I think you're going to have a good time. It's better than Halloween 5, uh, and it's de definitely better than some of the other ones, like H2O. Didn't really like that one very much. Um, and, or the second of Rob Zombies. Like the first, not a big fan of the second. Um but yeah, so like like I said, we're, I was kind of going a bit earlier. Uh, had a lot of fun doing all of these. Uh, I really like this theme. I really like the fact that every movie was different in its own regard, uh, and that um, you know it, it just allowed me to do more. So I'm wondering what am I going to have to do next year? Because you know Ray did kaiju cult eighties. Hmm. Figure out what's going on. Uh, I could probably do a broader set of movies, or I could always just go back to some classics. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, probably in the next couple of days, um, I'm going to put up a, a video where I'm going to rank up everything that I saw from uh, my least favorite of the watch to my very favorite of the watch. And that one's going to be hard because there were a couple I really, really enjoyed. Um, so uh, look for that in the next couple of days. I'm probably not going to put it together right away uh, unless I have some extra time tomorrow. But there are two things that you should check out today uh, that if you haven't checked it out already um, on the channel, there is... so. Speaking of Halloween, um, uh, Neil and uh, Pat uh, got together with me and we did a podcast just talking about Halloween. It's a little different than what I normally do. I don't go through the whole movie. We kind of do. We talk about our scenes and we kind of end up going through the whole movie, but not really. But it's not as long as the other stuff and it's not filled with all the clips that I normally put in there. Um, so I'm putting the video up on YouTube probably a little later today. This is going up in the morning. Um, and uh, so if you guys want to watch the, the podcast, you can watch the podcast on the channel. Uh, also, don't forget, it's going to be released as a normal podcast. So all the podcast and directories that you have from Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spreaker, Spotify, uh, Deezer, CastBox, Amazon Podcasts, all those favorite fucking places, you can find it. I had a lot of fun chatting with them. Uh, and you'll find out what the uh, term uh, sausage heavy uh, is referred to and who it's referred to when you listen to the podcast. Um, so if you are watching this, uh, you know, and you have, uh, thoughts, use that as a secret word, sausage heavy. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to put them all, it's going to be up there. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed those that have watched these have really enjoyed everything. Um, and for those that watch them like on IGTV, uh, the podcast will have to be up on YouTube because I, it's just too long, uh, to fit here. But uh, I may try to do those a little more often when I have guests. Uh, and I think that I don't have to <laughs> cut as much stuff. Uh, especially if uh, if it doesn't get fucking strike to hell. But that's going to be the, the fun part to find out what's going to happen. What are we going to do? Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching once again. And uh, we'll see you next time on, uh, I guess, a regular movie review. Hmm. I got something uh, coming your way very, very soon. Talk to you later.